Professors with Utah State University are trying something different. They're using drones to help with farming. Pretty cool here. New special Saren Cox shows us how they're changing the world of agriculture by doing it. People were farming long before flying. And I'll go up to 300 feet AGL. But now, why not fly to farm? Is once somebody figures out, oh, I can do this, then the sky's the limit. Sean Barstow and Shaylin Drake teach about drones at Utah State University Eastern. Drones that use AI to track people and so much more. The drone uses heat to identify objects around it. So this statue behind me looks yellow and red, and me, I look like a lot of different colors. Various heat signatures on plants that can tell you how healthy a plant is, how healthy the soil is, how much sun it's getting, how much sun it's not getting, how much water it needs. Shailen showed us on the drone the different colors for the plants on campus. This pine here with the darker color means it's super healthy. These darker colors are healthy, but that yellow, it's probably dead. Drones can determine spots that need to be fertilized. They can even sense which livestock are in heat during mating season. You can actually read their numbers on their tags and their ears. And some farmers get a bit more creative. I know a farmer who took a little speaker, attached it to his drone, recorded his dog barking, and now he herds his sheep with his drone. Cutting down time on the farm. You can throw a drone up and in 30 seconds have your entire field um, identified as to how healthy or unhealthy certain sections are. By flying high in the sky. That technology is there and your imagination's the limit for it. In Price, Aaron Cox, KSL 5 News.